Mama, mama, mama. Don't do that. Don't no, do that. I didn't offer you. I did not tell you to no, come no, in no. my house. I did not tell you to come in my house. No. You making my daughter gonna continue to disrespect. You see what finna happen? You see what finna happen? This man don't know you, but he looking at your fine ass. And he might yes. can talk to you later. That's what he looking at. Because if he was a man and he got a mama and he respect his mama, he wouldn't treat me like this right here. Because you don't know what's going on. But you looking at my sex ass daughter and you judging me. That's what you doing. Awkward. Mom is definitely highly sexualized when it comes to her daughter. He's there on a call. He don't know your daughter at all. He's there to help her get her stuff out the house because she called because you wouldn't let her in to get her stuff out the house. It's not because her fine ass. Because your daughter hot in the ass and you think she's attractive, that don't necessarily mean that we do. Now, I need your supervisor because you don't push my dough. That's illegal. Let me tell you something. Yeah, he's coming to get your stuff, but you need to get if you move, please. you let him disrespect me, but you don't. Sir, could you call for another officer? I'm asking you, please. Okay. Go get. He's a supervisor. Okay. And it's somebody over him. I'm not stupid. I'm not. If you move, because this man told you and I birthed you, you fucking him. You fucking him. See? That's, this is a glimpse of what this little girl got to go through. If she probably walked to the store, mom thinks she's fucking. She's accusing the police who's here of if, if she do this, he's fucking her. So look at the, look, I don't know how old she is or whatever. Or maybe she is hot and it's a reason why mom is like that. Maybe mom came home to her having little boys in the house. Maybe mom... Checked the phone and she was doing some things she wasn't supposed to do. Who knows? We all just speculating. This is all we see. But what I do know from off the jump is mom is sexualizing this girl and accusing her of having sex with the officer or him looking at her. Mom has some traumas. Now, granted, you know, maybe he shouldn't have put his foot in the door. She's probably about to slam it. And then he would have had another situation where they would have been knocking on the door. He just want the shit situation resolved, let her get her clothes so she could go about her business. That's all they're there for. He's not there to fuck your daughter. You could talk to me yourself without these motherfuckers coming over here. You know what end results of this shit with these police and shit? Because they don't care about nobody. They don't have no feelings. They get paid and they come with that attitude. They come with that goddamn attitude too because that's... She's absolutely right. They don't care. You're right. And you should be able to talk to her without them. And they at work, of course, they get paid. Ain't nobody doing this shit for free. They get paid to do. This is a family matter. And he got his hand on my goddamn dough telling me I can't close my goddamn dough. This my dough. I need sis if, if she moves because another man that didn't birth you tell you to move. Girl... Me, you, and these cops. So what happens? This is this is where we go wrong. I hear you, mom. I get. I do get your energy. Mine is all the sexual shit, right? But you can't sit here and tell her she don't need to listen to nobody. The last thing any black person need to do is not listen to an order by the police. That's the last thing we need to do is not obey. Bow. Stop resisting. Pitch your hands down. Come out. Bow. He reached for something. They didn't listen to the command. That is not good advice. And in reality, she's going to have to listen to some man who didn't birth her at some point in her life. Whether it's at work, at school, a husband, a boyfriend. Like, it don't make any sense. I'm not playing. Don't you dare disrespect me like that. I give you your stuff. You don't need them to get your stuff. You well, obviously she did because she had to call the police and you still not giving it to her. You're pitting on the show. Our ass fucking point because you went out and had you a little good little time last night. Did you? Did you enjoy it? Did this man don't even know what the fuck you did, but he judging me. Another, that's what I can't stand about black people. That's what. You can't have it both ways. No, he's not judging you. You would like to have more black officers to identify with your son out there and not 
mistake them and just shoot them on some scary shit. So you should be lucky as more people from your community becoming police officers. So they can identify with you and don't look at you like you're the number one male all the time or you look suspicious. No, that's this little Joe. I know his father. I went to school with him. And granted, maybe she did stay out all night. Maybe she didn't listen. Maybe she did go to a party, stay with a boy. Or maybe she just wanted to get the fuck away from you and this bullshit. Till it got to this point, too, is though now... You're not letting it in. Fine. Let me get my stuff. Now you don't want and you're not letting me get my stuff. I'm assuming that's why the police is there. I can't stand about black people. You got your foot in my door knowing that's illegal. You know that's illegal. You, you can't. Get, you want to go get her stuff? I'll get her stuff. But don't tell me when I'm going to go get it. They ain't trying to hear that shit. They just there for that one thing. Not the Martin Luther King speech. Because I birthed her and you weren't there. You didn't help me raise this child. So you can't tell me what the hell to do about it. Well, where the fuck is her father at? Let me guess. Father, the father probably ain't one of He was just fucking with you to fuck with you. And you got pregnant. You kept it anyway. Or you probably fucking y'all was boyfriends. You got pregnant and y'all broke up before the baby was born. You probably picked the wrong motherfucker to sleep with. He probably was a piece of shit. You probably gave him a chance. And he ran off. Who knows? But you can't put that on them. That's called projection, baby. That's your kid at the end of the day. Sometimes your dad died, mom died, and you're left the, solid, the, 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 the only parent in this situation, and you are responsible. Yo, and this shit don't come with no guidebook, and you don't know how your kid's going to be, how their personality's going to be, and you're left to deal with these people and try to raise them because they're fucking people. But we got to have some fucking responsibility. It's not this police fault. It's not. That's y'all shit spilling over to the streets and y'all couldn't figure it out and somebody had to call the motherfuckers. I'm in my house. I am in my house. Y'all disrespecting me. Dude got his fucking feet in my shit. He got his fucking feet blocking me from closing my door. If I was to close my door on this no, man, if I, I would get to her let, stuff and she know it, but if I was to close my door on him, y'all just want a reason to do something to me. Y'all want a reason to take me to jail. And this motherfucker right here, I don't understand. You not that my door. No, this motherfucker ain't calm. He came with an attitude. Baby, I'm recording this. He came with an attitude. I don't know what happened before the camera came on, but he's definitely calm. And he's definitely not escalating the situation. He letting you get your shit off. He letting you get your shit off. They just want you to get it. They don't, if they, and she's right. This can get ugly if she really tried to push the door closed. Because then she going to force his hand to push the door open. And then now we got a whole nother situation that could have been handled a different way. So, yeah, I'm glad mom just talking and I'm glad they just standing there. Because, mom, I don't want you to go to jail either. But y'all got to figure this shit out. Y'all got to sit down with a fucking therapist. You can smile all you want. He came with an attitude. He came with it. That's funny. This is a civil. This is something going on with a mother and a daughter. That's funny to you. You don't need to be a police. You don't need to be a goddamn police. If you think it's funny. You got kids. You got a daughter. You don't been through some shit with your kids. Don't judge me. You don't know what I do for my motherfucking kids. Spitz got his foot in my door. Hush, just hush. Just, okay, hush, Kaya. Just hush. hush. I'm finna close. Hush. Call y'all the supervisor because I'm finna close my motherfucking door. You don't get your motherfucking foot out my door, I'm gonna break it. No. I don't give a fuck. See, now, now you're threatening them. They could have took it a step further. They didn't. He ain't got the right to stick his foot in my door. And he know it. But you feel like because you black and got a badge on, you can do that fucking shit. Holding my motherfucking door open and shit like that. Damn. You ain't got to tell her shit. You ain't got to tell her shit. Kaya, get in your car with your sister because this ain't going to be good. If I was you, if you love your mama, these motherfuckers don't care nothing about me. If I was you, go and we'll talk later. This, this girl is outside in pajamas. Where was she last night? It's so many moving parts to this. Like, I'm not on mom's side, the daughter. I'm not on nobody's side. I mean, it's not a side to pick. You know, I feel for mom as a parent because I'm a parent. And it ain't easy raising these kids. 
Yo, you could do all the right stuff, bring them up the right way, but they at when they get of age, they going the outside's going to have a more powerful influence on your kids than you. Your, 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 the, the, the little kid that used to be up under you on, on, on your lap, the one you told how to ride a bike, how to spell a name, how to write, help with homework, feed them every single day, they are going to change on you and favor strangers and call my BBFs and, my, my, and all this other stuff over you. Over you. And you got to compete against that. And now all your wisdom that you acquired in life don't mean nothing to them and you're just trying to help them. And I'm pretty sure mom may be emotional, but she's trying to help her daughter because she may have been with a little boy. Because if she get pregnant, guess who come home with the baby? Not the little boy, she do. And she's a kid and guess who responsibility that's going to be? Moms. So I feel you, mom. On that. All these motherfuckers, they don't give a damn. This motherfucker laughing. This motherfucking nigga up here with his foot in my door. Go with your sister and we'll talk about this lady. You hear me? You hear me? You hear me, baby? Go do what I said do. Go do what I said do. Now, hey, you? man, you heard what I told my baby. Go ahead and do what your mama said do. This man, unless you fucking my baby, go. See? See? <laughs> Flag on the play. Unless you fuck up my what the what is that? What is that? And this is this is I'm done.